How's everybody doing out there? All right, as you can tell from the title, this is three tips for amputees. By an amputee. Uh, I lost my legs when I was 17 years old and I am 37 now. So I've got quite a lot of experience in this matter. All right, so let's jump right in. Tip one is your liners are your life. If you take a bath, need a bath, or anything like that, if you take a bath or a shower, take these in there with you. Take them in the shower, in the bathtub, submerge them, wash them, whatever you gotta do. At first it might seem like a pain in the butt, but it's really not. It, uh, you, I mean, it's it just becomes part of your habit. And I promise you, it's something in the end that if you don't maintain these correctly, these are the one thing that will make the people around you hate the fact that you're an amputee. And that's hard to do with people that love you. It's hard to give them a reason to hate the fact that you're an amputee. But the sour smell that these produce when they're not maintained right is exactly that. It's, it's something that will make people hate the fact that you're an amputee because they're going to feel too uh, rude to come up and say something to you about it so secretly in their mind it's going to just disgust them and then it's just going to keep building and keep building and keep building until exactly like I said they hate the fact that you're an amputee so all that being said tip one is take these in the shower bath with you every time you take a shower bath it's that simple treat them just like your hands your arm your stomach anything if you carry yourself in the bath these should go with you all right that's number one now, number two is a just a little trick but it's a little trick i learned on how to deal with them in the bathtub so before you get in there you take a towel and you close the commode seat and you lay this on the commode seat just like that all right then you get in the shower, you do your thing, wash your legs, wash your uh, liners and all that. And then from the shower, you can reach out and lay these on the toilet seat just like this, right? All right, so now you've got two liners on there like that. Sorry, I'm trying to do this with one hand and upload my first video. So um, for just forgive the quality and just listen to the information. So then you fold a towel over the top of them. And then you fold them in half. So now you have towel, liner, towel, liner, towel, liner, all the way down. Now you pat them dry because the silicone outside dries super easy. So you pat them dry just like that. And then as soon as you pat them dry, you open the towel back up all the way just like it was before and you turn them inside out because on this side, they're gonna take a little longer to dry, but that's okay because as long as you're planning this, then you won't be in a hurry. And by planning it, I mean you're taking your shower at night. When you take your legs off and they're already sweaty and nasty, so you shouldn't need to put them right back on. You should, now once you flip them inside out, lay them right back in there, close it up again the exact same way and then go about your normal routine. Leave them on the commode seat, go about your normal routine, brush your teeth, do whatever you gotta do. And when you get out of the shower, when you get out of the bathroom, you will have this little bundle just like this, all right? So then you can take that bundle and you can go set it on your prosthesis. Just set it there, just like that. And now, by the time you sleep, wake up and all that, these will be perfectly dry and ready to go and clean. Now what's so important about that? Well-being, residual limb health, other people's considerations. I mean, there's just, it's, it's unlimited how much easier it will make your life to develop some good cleaning habits for your liner, all right? So we've got the take a bath with your liner. Every time you need a bath, tip one. Tip two, the fold I just showed you, when, where, and why. Uh, number three, this might be the most important one. That's why I saved it for last. When I first started wearing my prosthesis, I thought they were the most uncomfortable thing in the world, and I hate them, and I hated them, and I never knew how I was going to get used to them. I had no clue how I was going to get used to them. But then, 
a little bit of time passed and I realized that I was comparing, I was comparing my prosthesis level of comfort to how it felt before when I slipped on a pair of socks and shoes. And there's just no comparison. If you're, if you're trying to compare comfort level to your prosthesis, to your old, to how you felt in a pair of shoes, you're never going to be happy with your prosthesis. What you have to realize is that wearing prosthesis and a liner and all that is, it, it feels completely different than shoes. And it's not to be compared. They're two totally different things, you know? So my tip and all that is don't expect things to be like they were before. And your legs, it's going to get little spots on them. It's going to get little bumps or rashes or there's a thousand different things you can call it but all they are is wear marks there if you're getting marks like this on your legs and you're cleaning them all the time you're keeping them clean then the marks are good they are going to develop calluses they're going to make your legs tough like the bottom of somebody else's feet the whole idea is that you transform mindsets you go from a victim mindset to a survivor mentality. And what I mean by that is a victim mindset kind of needs people to do stuff for them and kind of wants help and kind of don't know how to do things yet and we're really sad and depressed and all this and that's fine. That's a process you're going to go through. That's cool. I'm not ragging on that. What I'm saying is don't stay in that mode. Go from a victim to a survivor. And a survivor can wake up and put their legs on go to work do their thing and if somebody wants to help and you're willing to accept help fine but a survivor don't always need help and a survivor can find ways to do things on their own uh yeah well that's the biggest uh three tips i've got and please stick with me here or give me a like and a subscribe because i'm trying to build up my subscribe so i can maybe get this channel monetized and try to do make some better videos with better sound quality and video quality right now i'm recording on my phone so i'm sorry about how it looks but any questions just put it in the comments and i will do my best to get to them and i thank y'all very much and have a nice day